Hello and welcome to another season of First LEGO League Challenge. This year the theme is called Masterpiece and it's all about STEM and the arts and how the arts can teach us ways to communicate, engage and entertain audiences of all different sizes. Throughout First LEGO League Challenge this season, teams of up to 10 children will engage in research, problem solving, coding and engineering. They'll build and code a LEGO robot that navigates the themed missions of the robot game table. They will then also create an innovation project that not only identifies and shares their own hobbies and interests, but also helps them to learn about others and different types of creative fields. During this video, we're going to take a look at the equipment you'll receive, what is expected from both the team and the team coach, what is involved in running First Lego League Challenge, the timeline of the season, and both our top tips for delivery and things to remember. This season is your time to entertain others and inspire them to learn. So let's get started. Lights, camera, and action. Let's set the scene by taking a closer look at the masterpiece kit for this season. When registering with the IUT, you will receive your first Lego League challenge set, which contains the themed mat, as well as all of the mission models that the team will build and place on the mat using Dual Lock. There's some really cool missions this year, including we've got the 3D cinema over here, we've got the rolling camera, and we've got the music concert over here. The team will need to pick the missions they would like to complete and then use the mat to test and finalize their coding before they carry out their three two and a half minute robot games at either an in-house or their regional tournament. And if it's possible, you can set up a game table like this one in your meeting space to be able to practice the robot game accurately. But if it's not possible, you can also just use the mat on the floor. To build their very own robot to program to complete these missions, the team will also need access to a LEGO Education Spike Prime set. This is not included in the kit from the IET, so you will need to purchase this separately from a LEGO Education distributor. And we do also recommend getting a Spike Prime expansion set to be able to complete all of the missions available and get the full experience of first LEGO League challenge. Teams will then also need access to either a laptop or device where they can download the free LEGO Education Spike Prime software, which enables them to program their robot. The software has lots of getting started modules, guided units, and loads more teaching units to use outside of first LEGO League. Last but not least, the kit we send you includes a team meeting guide, a robot game rulebook, and some engineering notebooks. The team meeting guide is for the coach to facilitate and guide the team throughout the sessions in a way that is best for them. The robot game rulebook is for both the coach and the team members to gain full understanding of the missions and rules, as well as allowing the team to strategically pick the missions they want to attempt. And the engineering notebooks are used by the team to guide them throughout the sessions and as a way for them to make notes and document their ideas, skills and progress. Now let's take a closer look at the guides and how you can use these to maximise your creativity. As mentioned before, the team meeting guide is for the coach to facilitate and guide the team through the sessions. The guide contains 12 detailed session plans all around two and a half hours long, which can be followed as closely or as loosely as you would like, in whichever way works best for the whole team and their setting. Each session starts with an introduction activity, aimed to be around 10 to 15 minutes long, and ends with a share activity, again, around 10 to 15 minutes long. The rest of the session, around two hours, focuses on the main team tasks, which are split into two aspects, the robot and the project. We then have the robot game rulebook, which introduces both the coach and the team to the robot game. This season's game is about activating the technology that will enhance an audience's experience of a creative production. Teams will need to deliver experts involved in designing the shows, such as Sam the stage manager, as well as the audience members, to various venues around the map. Page 6 looks at the guiding principles for the game to give both the coach and the team a general understanding of what to expect from the robot game. Page 7 demonstrates how to interpret each mission outlined in the following pages, including what is expected for each one and the points involved allowing the team to pick the most strategic missions for scoring the most points in two and a half minutes. A really cool mission to get started with is Mission 2, Theatre Scene Change, which is the guided mission for this season, meaning that the team is given the code to complete it within the LEGO Spike software. 
What's also really great about this mission is that the team can earn extra points on their competition day if a fellow team also completes this mission alongside them. Within this guide, you will also find mission building information, field and mission model setup tips, a robot path diagram for the team to plan their desired path, and the robot game rubrics for the team to see how they will be scored in their actual game. The rulebook also contains rules for before, during and after the match, and this season the guide has seen some additional wording on things such as robot interruption and dual launch, so make sure you have a really good read through these to familiarise yourself with the rules. Lastly, we have the engineering notebooks, which are the team's guide throughout the sessions and act as a method of documentation. To start with, teams should check out this season's challenge story on pages 4 and 5, which takes them through the story of a character called Izzy and really gives context for this season's theme. The notebook also looks at the four different components of First Lego League Challenge. Core values, robot design, robot game, and the innovation project, which are covered really well in pages six, seven, and nine to give the team a clear idea of what is expected and involved for each one. The notebooks are also a really great resource for the team to share at their judging session. Although this isn't required, project sparks throughout the notebook are designed to give the team ideas for their innovation project and how the mission models connect to the theme. Whilst career connections on pages 34 and 35 further support the different sessions by giving some extra information on different creative fields of work. It is really important that the team read through the guides thoroughly as they are scored across all four components of First Lego League Challenge, so they need to be aiming to fulfil each one in the best way that they possibly can. First Lego League Challenge can be run in two ways. The first is our team registration option, which sees a team of up to 10 students working towards competing at a regional event. We also have our class pack option, which enables the programme to be run within a class setting of up to 30 children split into three to five teams and sees an in-house tournament being carried out at the end. Within class pack, you can then also add on a regional event registration, which enables one team from the class to go on to a regional event. For any of these options, it is really important to remember that the teams are the ones who should be carrying out the work, whilst the coach is there to simply facilitate and guide the team and to help them reach their full potential. There are also a few important things to remember when using the guides. Whilst the team meeting guide recommends at least two hours for each session, we understand that this is not always possible for some groups and have therefore created a quick route guide to help you run through these in a shorter amount of time. If you only have one hour rather than two, split the team into two groups. One group completes the robot activity part of the team tasks, while the other completes the Project Spark activity. Make sure both groups have plenty of time to share what they have learnt and discovered, so that the whole team are involved and have a clear understanding of both parts. Over time, throughout the different sessions, swap the groups to allow everyone the opportunity to experience both the robot lessons and the project work. As mentioned previously, make the most of the session checkpoints throughout, which ensure you have completed all of the necessary steps before moving on to a new session. Key pages to note within the team meeting guides are page nine, where you will find the pre-session checkpoints, checkpoint one on page 18, checkpoint two on page 28, and page 34, which is the final checkpoint and helps you with your tournament preparation. Sessions nine to 12 work alongside the final checkpoint, as these also focus on the final preparation before your tournament and will guarantee that the team fully practices everything that they need to. Also keep an eye out for the spike software symbol in sessions one to six, which indicate where you need to use your device to access the spike prime units. If you are running class pack, you will also receive a digital class pack guide which is all you need to implement it within a classroom setting. So keep an eye out for this within your welcome email. Within this guide, you will find information to help you run your in-house tournament. So it is also worth thinking about extras that you might need to be able to do this, such as volunteers, extra space, and downloading resources such as the judging rubrics and robot game score sheets. One final important bit of information is that the innovation project is purposely vague this season to encourage teams to see it as either an opportunity or a problem. So get those creative thoughts flowing and really think outside the box. Here at the IET, the first LEGO League season runs throughout the academic year. However, there are a few important deadlines to remember for Challenge, 
so make sure to make a note of these. Registration opens in August, with kit dispatches for Scotland starting in mid-August and dispatches for England, Wales, Northern Ireland and the Republic of Ireland starting from the beginning of September. Kit is sent out once payment is received and arrives within the following two weeks, along with your welcome email containing lots of important information. Regional tournaments will be held between January and March 2024. So for those teams attending a tournament, it is really important that you schedule enough time to be ready for your chosen location and date, and allow the team to have enough practice and make any desired adjustments or changes to their robot strategy and project so that they are ready for their event. You will know which tournament you are attending as this will be selected upon your registration. But you can also find confirmation of your tournament date on our Find a Tournament Near You webpage. If you haven't already, make sure to register as soon as possible as tournament spaces are limited and sell out very quickly, so we wouldn't want you to miss out. For those teams that qualify from their regional tournament to go through to the national final, this will be held in April 2024. It's really important that the team carry on practicing and improving their work between the tournament and the final to give them the best chance of success and winning one of these Lego trophies. For those groups running class pack, you have a little bit more time to complete the program as you can run your in-house tournament on your chosen date at any time within the academic year. To support your event, you will also receive a PDF certificate to print out for each child, along with Lego medals, like this one, and a trophy for the winning team. Within their welcome email, all registered teams and classes will receive a pre-programmed evaluation to complete before they begin, and another to complete at the end of the season along with a teacher and coach evaluation. It's really important for us to collect as much feedback as possible to help continue improving the programme, so please make sure to complete these before the end of the summer term in time for the 2024-2025 season. I've got some top tips to help you get the most out of your first LEGO League challenge delivery. The extra resources that ourselves, FIRST and LEGO Education have created are a great tool for you to utilise throughout your programme delivery. Visit our website to see our team resources page where you will find regular challenge updates, curriculum grids, support videos and any relevant masterpiece resources that you and the team might need. You can also find the video breakdown of each mission released by LEGO Education to gain a full understanding of what is expected for each mission and how points are scored. A great resource for when the teams are deciding on their mission strategy. First have also released interactive engineering notebooks and robot game rule books, which are really great tools that can be easily accessed by all of the team members. Make sure to register as soon as possible to guarantee your team a place at their chosen regional tournament and to give them the maximum amount of time to practice with their kit. Keep note of your tournament date as well though, because you definitely don't want to be missing that. Read thoroughly through the guides, as these will be able to take you through everything both you and the team need to run each session successfully. And keep an eye out on our team resources page for any robot game updates which can be released by first throughout the season, to inform on anything such as rule clarifications or changes. It's almost showtime and I think you're ready to perform. Grab your equipment, shine your spotlights, and remember, the future is yours to create.